Number 50. What is the effect on the concentrations of NO2 minus HNO2 and OH minus when the following are added to a solution of KNO2 in water? And then we have letter A. Okay, so in this case, we have to know what's going on when we add HCl to a solution of KNO2 in water, right? So simple enough. The first thing that I see, though, is that KNO2 is a salt. I know that KNO2 is a salt because it has a metal and a polyatomic, right? One metal and then non-metals. So the first thing you have to do is just get rid of the metal, right? Because when we're doing acids and bases, we don't care about the metals, really, all right? Who cares? <laughs> anyway, so KNO2, the break is between here, right? Between potassium, K, K+, plus, and NO2-. minus. Now you say to yourself, which one has basic or acidic properties? Now remember that K plus comes from KOH. And this is a really, really, really strong base. So K plus is not going to have any, you know, acidic or basic properties because it's basically so weak that it's neutral. That's why we don't care about this. So we're only going to write down our balanced equation with NO2 minus. So let's do that. NO2 minus, and they said that we're in water. So that's plus H2O. Now, if we need to make a equation, and let me just make this a little bit, there we go. This has no acidic hydrogens, so this has to be the base, right? So this is the weak base, and this is acting as the acid, right? So wah, weak acid. Let's do double arrows because we're in the weak side of things. And then remember the base increases in one hydrogen, so this would now be HNO2, and this kind of checks off that I'm going to make that. And then the H3O, uh, uh, H2O, would turn into OH minus because the acid decreases by one hydrogen, and that's this guy. So here's my balanced equation. I got NO2 minus, that's over here. I got HNO2, that's over here, and I have OH minus, which is here. So we're on the right track. Now we just have to figure out what's gonna happen to these three concentrations when HCl is added. All right, so HCl, you have to break it down, just like we did over here, just to see what's really going on. Well, usually when we do break this down, one of the ions, and in this case H plus and Cl minus, hopefully, fingers crossed, one of the ions is in this balance equation, but it's not. I don't see any H plus in here, and I don't see any Cl minus. So now you have to say to yourself, which one of these would actually react with any of this stuff that's going on in the balance equation? And we should be spotting it with H plus because we know that H plus, right? H plus plus OH minus will always yield H2O. So the H plus is going to attack on with the OH minus and form H2O. Now, What's going to happen to the OH minus? Well, since it's being converted into H2O, the OH minus is secretly going to drop. And that's the knowledge that we need for this um, question. So that's the secret information that we, we need. Because we're adding H plus, and all the H plus is grabbing onto the OH minus, this OH minus is going to drop. Now comes Le Chatelier's principle. This is now a refresher from, I don't know, the gas chapter that we did a long time ago. I think it was chapter nine. So you can always check out those questions uh, if you need a little refresher. But here's what we basically need to know. And in this case, we're decreasing OH minus. So when you have too little, you have a low amount, too little, you always shift to the same side, the same side of where you dropped. So your re reaction is going to be favoring the, uh, you know, going to the right instead of going to the left. That's why we write these double arrows. So because of this shift, you're going to be favoring the, you know, going to the right. 
So because of that, and maybe I'll do that, all of these would drop and all of these would increase back up. So they're asking for what's the effect of the concentration of NO2, H, NO2, and OH minus. All of these would drop, and these would increase. So let's see. We have NO2 minus, and they only wanted these three, H, NO2, and they wanted OH minus. So... Well, now, since we are lowering the OH minus concentration, you will write that down for what's going on here. So that's going to be lowered. But then all the other ones, it's what's happening with the shift. So the NO2 minus would drop because your reaction is going from left to right. So that would decrease. But then this will increase because you're shifting to the right. And then that would increase. And there we go. This is your final answer. Now, this is for letter A. So hang tight. If you guys are on the playlist, I highly recommend you are. We are going to do letter B in a little bit. So stay tuned, and I will see you in a little bit. All right. Okay. Bye-bye.